Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. God bless you. I know it's hard. I know that you're going through. I know it's heavy. And I know you're tired. But listen to this. God will not forget your labor of love. Your labor of love is not in vain. Do you hear me? It seems like something has been put upon you, like somebody has come and dumped something into your life, dumped a, uh, um, what do you call it, has dumped a responsibility, very heavy responsibility that is all-consuming. It's like an all-consuming fire. And you can't dare put it out because someone might get hurt in the long run. So you you have decided to suck it up and try to see how much of this you can handle. Well, let me tell you this. God will not put on you more than you can handle. But here's the other thing. When you go through this type of a pruning process, this chipping away, it seems, of your own personal life and your, your freedoms, God has an award. What? I feel this. I tried to make a... Uh, a video before, and I wasn't even recording, but at the same point, I felt the same type of rush where God wants you to know that he has some, he has a trick up his sleeve, and it's all for you, and it's in the form of rewards in your future. If you sow bountifully, you will reap bountifully. If you love bountifully, you will reap bountifully. I'm telling you, something really good is going to come out of this, even though it stinks right now. You're going to come out smelling like roses. You hear me? You go through the fire, but you will come out smelling like roses, not like burnt wood. You will go through the flood, but you will come out bone dry, standing on your feet. God will bring you out with tremendous blessings inside and out. Do you hear me? Because he appreciates when you do something and sacrifice for the sake of love and for the sake of others. God appreciates that. He smiles on that. It means a lot to him. That's why you see so many scriptures that say, consider the poor, the needy, the, the orphans, the widows, plead their cause because most of us are so selfish we don't care about someone else's needs but that's of the of the utmost importance to God when you've done it unto the least of these you have done it unto me God says keep doing it to the least of these don't be weary in well doing don't give give up the battle the battle is the lord's so you have to win because God will guarantee it one way or another, babe, you're going to win. You're going to come out on the winning side, benefic benefiting in so many ways, seen and unseen. And you will know the personal growth that you have gotten out of it. Even though the trial may stink, you will come out smelling like roses. And you will come out looking good. God will make you look so good and will bless you for it. You will have so many fringe benefits as a result. Yes, it's unfair. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, it may even feel like a sucking the life out of you. But when you feel like you can't take it, walk into another room and get alone with God. Get your word out and say, Lord, lead me to scripture. Talk to me. I need a shot in the arm. I don't know if I can take another day. Help me. And then ask God when he's ready to deliver you from the battle or to end the trial altogether so that you will know it's God's hand through and through. And he will bring you out shining bright with his glory all over you. He will take you from glory to glory and from strength to strength.